When I worked in football, one of my duties was to attend the manager's pre- and post-match press briefings, and it became a standing joke that every time he would come out with the words, ifs, buts and maybes, keep them out of the equation. His point being that he was only interested in the certainties of his role and what he himself could, to a certain extent, control. Over the years, best highlighted by the annual school nativity plays, a number of so-called certainties seem to have made their way into the Christmas story. But the fact is that scripture doesn't go into anywhere near the detail we might imagine about the birth of Jesus, which we read about in today's verses. Indeed, the Gospels of Mark and John don't mention it at all. And so, because we've got so little to go on, certain assumptions and inventions have occurred over the years to become as central to the Christmas story as the absolute true story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Did Mary ride on a donkey? Was Jesus born in a stable? Were there animals at the birth? Were the wise men kings? And were there three of them? Did they ride on camels? If she did, if he was, if there were, or if they did, it's not in the good book. Does the little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes, ring true? He was fully human, fully a baby, and any parent of a small child will tell you he will have screamed down the neighbourhood. So with just two weeks remaining until the big day, let's not allow ourselves to be waylaid or distracted by the ifs, buts and maybes, but focus fully on the facts. Jesus was born in Bethlehem, fact. He was fully human, just like you and me, fact. He was without sin, fact. He died on a cross, the most horrific of deaths, in order that you and I may be forgiven for our sins, fact. He will come again, and those who have accepted his year-round gift of forgiveness and salvation, not just neatly wrapped under the tree at Christmas, will be with him for eternity, fact. May God bless us all today.